I've been testing the Pixie rangefinder with the new 64-bit processor that will be in the camera from now on and available for current owners via their upgrade program. And here are my thoughts on it. To recap, in case you missed my three earlier videos about the Pixie, it's a rangefinder camera with a classical rangefinder focusing mechanism, external light meters and so on, coupled with modern features like a heads-up display, the ability to capture raw monochrome DNGs, shoot at very high ISOs etc and so forth. If you want more details I will link to all of them in the description. One of the key differences with the Pixie compared to other cameras have been the upgradeability. And I don't mean just added functionality and features through firmware. First round buyers could upgrade to a completely new sensor. And now it's time for the processor. It improves the camera quite a bit. I was already happy with the old one. For my shooting style with the rangefinder, I'm not very often in the need of super fast operation or the ability to spray and pray. With the old model I could fire off roughly 7 shots in a somewhat fast action before needing to wait for the buffer. Compared to film cameras it's even considered very fast. But sometimes a faster shooting pace can definitely come in handy. For example when photographing a baby it's hard to give directions and all you can do is simply keep on shooting. My latest example was when two roe deer came to my backyard. As you can see, it's pitch black outside and focusing would be very difficult with pretty much any camera. The very next night I waited by the window, I set the ISO to 12800 and the aperture to f1.4 on the Voigtlander 40mm. Keep that in mind when it comes to sharpness, because that plus shooting through the windows isn't doing the lens or sensor justice. In my earlier videos you can see that the combo is tack sharp if used in a more common scenario. Focusing on moving animals that I know are about to bolt at any second in the dark with a shallow depth of field isn't easy. So instead I guesstimated the distance and just started firing away, moving the camera back and forth a bit. And sure enough, a couple landed. After a few seconds they got spooked and left. I focused on the light post in the distance hoping they would walk underneath it, but no such luck. Anywho, I didn't get to focus or composition right until shot number 9 which would have been a no-go with the old processor. So let's compare them side by side to really see the difference. The buffer with the old processor fills up after 6 pictures. The new one reaches 15. The time needed before the old one has cleared enough space to take another picture is 10 seconds, while the new is ready already after 4. So in most real life scenarios the camera with the new processor can keep on shooting until the memory is full. That's pretty much it, an already great camera is now better. The camera is also getting live view via smartphone added and the new processor will supposedly increase the quality of the monochrome raw DNGs. But I haven't gotten around to testing all of that just yet. For new buyers this is the new standard and for us already using the Pixie it's an optional upgrade at a cost. How much remains to be seen. You can read more about it on the Pixie website and sign up for their newsletter to stay up to date on the latest developments. Also check out the Facebook group. Please check out my other Pixie videos and subscribe for upcoming videos. Until next time, goodbye!